Yo guys, welcome to the Polygon Cafe. I hope you're having a great day. So recently I've been listening to a lot of music from a rapper called Central C. Now as a 3D artist, I thought it would be interesting to create a little animation for him, um, promoting his album called The Wild West. So here's the animation I made. I don't say much, but I hear everything that I said. It don't go. In this video, I'm going to be showing you sort of behind the scenes of working on this animation. But first things first, we start by creating the head. Look at this guy's bald head, man. Damn. I'm probably going to create a balaclava or something as he's always wearing like a cap or a bali. So he doesn't need hair. It's okay. Oh my god. That is a scary sight, man. Just opened up the texture of the head model. and Jeez, I don't want to see that again. So just slap that texture on his head model and then here's an outfit that I sort of compiled from different Sketchfab assets. And then I brought this outfit into Substance Painter to create my own textures for it. I wanted the coat to be shiny so I adjusted the roughness map and then I start painting in the colour map for the balaclava. Uh, if you've seen Central C videos, uh, he uses a lot of orange, that's his sort of brand colour, so I thought I'd go for this for the balaclava and then I'm just cleaning it up, removing some parts using a black mask and painting in white values. Why would you spend £200 on a Nike coat when you can make a digital one? <laughs> just slap that logo on it. Please don't sue me Nike, I'm not making any money from this animation. I then grabbed the Wild West logo and painted this on the Bali. So I then brought the model into Unreal Engine and also exported the textures from Substance Painter using the Unreal Engine configuration. If you export them using the UE4 settings, it'll basically pack the ambient occlusion, roughness, and metallic channels into one map, so it uses less memory. I hope a trap wears your type. Why? Cause I don't have a nine to five. All right. We want to create a new material in Engine and then plug these channels into the correct map. So the red channel would go into the ambient occlusion, green into roughness, and blue into metallic. We can then save out this material and apply it to the model. Now here's an animation that I downloaded from Mixamo. Mixamo is quite handy as it auto rigs your character, so there's no need for manual rigging in a modeling program. Wait, what the hell? I just realized this guy doesn't have any hands. What is going on with this model? So my initial idea was to having him kick a big pile of money. Why? I don't know, because he's a rapper and that's the sort of thing rappers do. They kick money, they pour Hennessy on the floor and they drive fast Lamborghinis. Have you guys ever seen a pile of money that looks this realistic? I know, it's just next gen. Now to get this money actually interacting with the character's kick in engine, all you need to do is enable simulate physics in the details panel of the money model. And there you go, amazing stuff, right? Next level, top tier CGI right here. You haven't seen anything like this in the movies before. So since I actually need to add hands to the model, I might as well add a little bit more detail and a personal touch to Central C. I know he has a tattoo on his left hand. So I screenshotted that, clean it up a bit in Photoshop, and then like we did with the Wild West logo earlier, just stamp it onto the model in Substance Painter as an alpha. I hope a trap wears your tight. Why? Cause I don't have a nine to five. All right. So we are coming to the end of episode one. I'm just quickly blocking out a room for him. But if you enjoyed this video, please come back for episode two. I'm sorry that I didn't include the whole behind the scenes process in this episode. It's because I'm trying to drag it out for more content. Content. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, have a great day, and let me know what you're working on in the comments. In a bit!